Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Technology Philosophy. Today I would like to talk about the philosophy of big data, uh, big data, the individual, and society. This is the aim to use philosophical concepts to explore the impact that big data is having on our sense of ourselves as individuals in society, especially in our new roles as information generators and consumers in constant dialogue and partnership with the pervasive information climate. The pervasive pervasive information climate is the current situation of big data and the widespread connected world of computing that provides an increasingly rich information environment between and amongst human and machine entities. Big data is one of the most rapidly developing contemporary trends. Exabytes of new data are being generated each year in equal measures across scientific, governmental, corporate, and personal data sectors. Big data is growing as an area of science and information technology, and so too is the need for its intellectual understanding and interpretation from a theoretical, philosophical, and societal perspective. The philosophy of big data is the branch of philosophy concerned with the foundations, methods, and implications of big data. The definition, meaning, conceptualization, knowledge possibilities, truth standards, and practices in situations involving very large data sets that are big in volume, velocity, variety, veracity, and variability. The philosophy of big data operates at two levels, one internal to the field as a generalized articulation and examination of the concept, theory, and system that comprise the overall conduct of big data-related activities. The other is external to the field, considering the impact of big data operations more broadly on individuals, society, and the world. One important issue is the situation of human data relations. Individuals can feel powerless in their relation to data. This is partly because big data is intangible and cannot be fully visualized and conceptualized. This leads to an incomplete subjectivation by both sides. Neither party, data nor human, has a complete and full understanding, humans, or representational model, data, of the other party. This situation requires exploring some of the philosophical aspects of the human data relation, such as asymmetry, information avail availability, goals, intangibility, the unknown, vastness, unembodiment, the sublime versus the uncanny, representation, subjectivation, what is real, boundaries, and multiplicity. This analysis concludes with some practical solutions that might improve human data relations, such as a self-owned and self-controlled personal data store, citizen data rights groups, and personal data markets or other remunerative models. Overall, improved human data relations could speed the use full implementation of big data solutions and also facilitate potential transition to data-rich futures with human and machine entities more productively coexisting in mutual growth and collaboration. Thank you.